Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the course on biostatistics and design of experiments. Um, we will look at uh, more designs and how one goes about uh, um, performing these design strategies. So, uh, we talked about full factorial design and um, as you know full factorial is represented by 2 power n, n is the number of uh, factors, 2 here denotes the number of levels. Of course, you can have 3 power n, 4 power n and so on actually. Um, initially, when you are doing a screening design, that means when you are looking at large number of factors, uh, we generally do it at 2 levels only. Okay. So, the full factorial design may have if you have 3 parameters 2 raised to the power 3, that means 2 into 2 into 2 that is um, 8 experiments and so on actually 2 power 4, 4 factors that will be 16 experiments and so on. So, the advantage uh, is that we can look at the interactions like uh, if you have say 3 factors 2 raised to the power 3 design, 8 experiments, we can look at interaction A, B, A, C, B, C. In addition, we can also look at the 3 way interaction that is A, B, C, but that is also a disadvantage of this full factorial design because uh, suppose you look at a 2 power 4 design, not only you look at 4 factors, the main effects, you are looking at 6 interactions that is A, B, B, A, C, A, D, B, C, B, D. Uh, C, D, 6 interactions, but you look at 3 way interactions like A, B, C, A, A, C, D, B, C, D and so on and then you will also look at 4 way. All these are uh, very superfluous because I did mention that uh, these uh, 3 ways and 4 way interactions are very, very rare. We generally have 2 way only. So, came into being something called the fractional factorial designs uh, which are like uh, half of 2 power n that is 2 n minus 1 or 1 fourth of 2 power n that is 2 n minus 2 and so on. See these fractional factorial designs reduce the number of experiments dramatically okay? and uh, we can also get interactions, but there are some disadvantages also in fractional factorial because uh, uh, unless you choose uh, the number of experiments and where to put in your new factor, you may end up having something called confounding that means sometimes two way interactions may be confounding and sometimes one way interaction may be confounding with the uh, three way interactions and so on. So, the fractional factorial design, okay. so uh, let us look at this, I showed you yesterday also. Uh, imagine I have uh, three variables A, B, C, so 2 raised to the power 3, 8 experiments, everything is okay. Now, I want to introduce another variable D with these eight experiments, so it is a half of 2 power 3 or 2 power 3, 2 power 4 minus 1, okay. instead of half of 2 power 3, uh, it is actually 2 power 4 minus 1 design. So, you are doing only 8 experiments. So, I put D here, A, B, C. Okay. So, what happens in this? Um, there is an interaction confounding of A with the B, C, D, B with A, C, D, C with A, B, D, confounding, we have to use the correct word. Um, the two way interactions are also confounded A B in confounding with the C D, A C confounding with B D, B C confounding with D D and D confounding with A B C. Okay? And uh, this confounding and this is called a yeah, resolution for design because we are having uh, D uh, confounded with A B C. Okay? And so, the main effects are confounded only with uh, three way interactions and two way interactions are confounded. Okay. Now, you want to introduce one more variable, fifth variable that means 2 power 4, 5 design that is 32, but you want to do only 8 experiments that means 1 fourth of 32 which is 2 power 5 minus 2. So, the question is if I put E here, what happens? We have main effects confounded with the two way interactions. Okay, main effect confounded with this, which is called a resolution 3 design because E is equal to C D right or E equal to A B that is called a resolution 3 design, which is generally not liked. Resolution 4 designs are okay, but resolution 3 designs are not okay because we find lot of confounding. 
So, this table gives you a nice idea. Uh, so, suppose I have uh, 3 parameters or 3 factors. So, you have uh, a full factorial will be 2 power 3. I want to do half of uh, this. So, 2 power 3 minus 1 that is 4 experiments. So, um, 4 experiments we have the a b instead of a b you put it as c. So, this is a resolution 3 design ok understand how to get understand the resolution which is not liked very much. Now, let us go to um, the 4 parameter problem a b c d uh, I want to do a half um, fractional factorial design. So, what I do is I take that 2 power 3 model I mean sorry 2 power 3 design uh, table um, and then uh, um, I will introduce a b c with d. So, such a design is called 2 power 4 minus 1 2 power 4 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 ok that is uh, 16 experiments. So, the minus 1 gives you half of that 8 experiments. So, here the um, design generator is d equal to a b c. So, this is a resolution 4 design because you have 4 variables no 1 2 3 4 this is ok. Let us look at uh, another one more variable variable e ok. So, uh, that is uh, 2 power 5 that is 32 experiments. Suppose, if I want to do only half of that 16 experiments what will I do e equal to a b c d this is a resolution 5 design very nice. But if I want to do 1 fourth of 32 that is 8 experiments 2 power 5 minus 2 then d will become a b or e will become a c. So, this is a resolution 3 design the main effects are confounded with the uh, two way interactions which is not desired and so on. So, now you know how to do a design generation ok and then you can also calculate how to do a resolution calculation. So, many softwares will automatically do this. So, it is a good idea for you to understand it uh, from fundas so that you can yourself generate the designs you can even cross check the softwares ok. Uh, most important thing is uh, you need to have a balance and orthogonality into the term and when you are talking about a fractional factorial design you should have uh, at least resolution 4 design not resolution 3 design. So, uh, you do not want a main effect confounding with the uh, two way interactions main effect confounding with three way is ok ok, but main effect confounding with the two way interactions is the resolution 3 design and generally that is not desired ok. So, this is this is the entire logic of this these are factorial designs ok, but then there are many types of designs there are designs like Taguchi design uh, there are designs like Plackett Berman design all these are two level designs and we call it a screening design ok. Let us look at uh, more of them same thing I showed yesterday resolution 3 design uh, main effects are alleged with the uh, main effects are not alleged with main effects, but main effects are alleged with second order interaction. So, that is bad and second order interaction are alleged with other second order interaction. Resolution 4 design main effects are not alleged with main effects, main effects are alleged with the, the three way interaction and two way interactions are alleged with two way interaction, second order interactions are alleged with second order interaction. Resolution 5 design no main effect is alleged with any main effect and uh, no second order interactions are alleged ok. Second order interactions are generally alleged with much higher third order. So, resolution 5 is great and then of course, you need to do more experiments. So, generally resolution 4 is ok ok. Um, so, as you can see here we have uh, uh, the um, A, B, C, D, E type of situation. Um, so, 5 parameters 2 power 5 that is 32, but we are doing only 8 experiments. So, this is a 2 power 5 minus 2 design 1 fourth of 32 experiments. So, what happened uh, we put E as A B C, but we put D as B, B C. So, this is a resolution 3 design not light not good ok. So, ideally if you want to do a 5 parameter you must have at least a 2 power 5 minus 1 type of experiment that means 16 experiments ok. Um, same thing here. Um, so, suppose I want to have more variables say D, E, F and I want to do only 8 experiments ok. This is a resolution 3 design as you can see um, 
D is equal to A C equal to E B C, F is equal to A B C. Okay, so the I that is a design generator is equal to A C D, B C E, A B C F uh, and so on actually. Again this is a resolution 3 design. Okay. So, main effects will be confounded with uh, two way interaction. Okay. So, we will not know whether it is two way or it is the main effect. Okay. Uh, having done your experiments, uh, imagine you have done uh, say 8 experiments with the 3 variables A, B, C and you got some results. So, this could be say temperature, this could be pH, uh, this could be carbon amount um, we have changed it at lower level, higher level. Minus 1 means lower level, plus 1 means higher level. Imagine I have done uh, 2 raised to the power 3, 8 experiments, a full factorial um, 3, uh, 3 level, 3, 2 level, 3 factor. So, 8 experiments and I got some results, say it is a biomass. Okay. Now, how do you identify um, the main effects? What is the effect of A? What is the effect of B? How do you do that? So, what you do is um, this, these 4 experiments are done with the higher level of A, these 4 experiments are done with lower level of A. So, what you do is you add up these 4 outputs divide by 4 minus add up these 4 outputs divide by 4. So, that tells you effect of main effect A, understand? Because these 4 are plus, these 4 are minus. Okay? So, you add up these 4 to that. Now, if I want to know effect of B, I look at these pluses y7, y8, y4, y3, add up, divide by 4, minus, minuses are y1, y2, y5 and y6, divide by 4. This will tell you effect of B. Effect of C, so you have 4 places where you have pluses here, 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 here. So, we take a uh, y2, y4, y6, y8, divide by 4 minus 4 minuses here, 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 here. So, y1, y3, y5, y7 divided by 4. So, this tells you the main effect. What is the effect of say temperature? What is the effect of pH? What is the effect of carbon? Now, how do we get the interactions? We can do that also. Now, Okay. So, look for example, if temp T is your A is your temperature, B is your pH, A B gives you temperature into pH and you I told you how to calculate this, right? You know how to calculate this, multiply minus 1 minus 1 which is plus 1. So, minus into minus uh, is plus, plus into minus is minus, minus into plus is plus and plus into plus is plus. Okay. So, minus minus is plus, minus minus is plus minus plus is minus, minus plus is minus, plus minus is minus, plus minus is minus, plus plus is plus, plus plus is plus. So, how do you calculate A, B? You have 4 places plus, that is y7, y8, y2, y1. So, y1 plus y2 plus y7 plus y8 divided by 4 and you have 4 places you have minus. So, y3, y4, y5, say y6 divided by 4. So, this result will give you the interaction effect A B, very simple. So, when you do a factorial planned, well planned out factorial design, the results analysis also becomes very, very simple. Okay. First, uh, we have the results, then we can perform an ANOVA, we can find out what are the main effects that are important. Okay. Then if there is any interaction also we can calculate using this. So, it is very nice. Now, if I want to know ESC interaction, for example, temperature and carbon amount, Okay, you know how to get this AC, you just have to multiply these 2 and get this, these 2, this, these 2, this like that. So, for AC there are 4 places you have plus here, here, here. So, y1 plus y3 plus y6 plus y8 divided by 4, 4 places you have minus, y2, y4, okay, y5 and y7 divided by 4. Same thing with BC. 4 places you have plus, 4 places you have minus. So, you pick up those pluses y1, y4, y5 and y8, divide, add them divided by 4, minus um, y2, y3 
uh, y 6, y 7, add them divided by 4. So, this gives you the interaction effect. So, you can even get a b c effect because a b c also has uh, you know the pluses and minuses here. Okay. Suppose, if you had made this as a d that means, if you have done a 2 power uh, uh, 4 minus 1 design that is half of 16 and like I said uh, we can call this d all, although it is a resolution 3 design. Suppose, if you have done that d here then you can get the main effect for d by adding this, this, this and this dividing by 4 and subtracting this, 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 this and divide by 4. Okay. So, you can have got the um, effect of d also. So, you see the uh, factorial tables are extremely useful, it tells you how to plan the experiments, it tells you how to do the analysis later and do the various calculations. So, that is the main advantage of this type of uh, factorial designs. Okay. So, it is very nice. Okay. Um, there is another design which is also a screening design, it is useful if you have a lot of parameters and you want to screen them um, uh, quickly these parameters, uh, shortlist only a few important ones and that is called a placket Berman design, placket Berman design. So, generally it is a multiple of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16. That means, you have to do either 4 experiments or 8 experiments, 12 experiments, 16 like that. So, um, 3 factors can be studied with only 4 experiments. It will give you the main effects. 7 factors can be studied with 8 experiments. It will give you the main effects. 11 factors can be studied with 12 experiments. So, it is extremely good. Quickly, we can screen out factors and ideally if you have say 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, all you have to do is 4 experiments, 8 experiments, 12 experiments, 16 experiments and 20 experiments. Okay. So, it is extremely good for screening variables, large number of variables we can study. So, we will study the main effects at 2 levels, minus 1 and plus 1. Okay. There are again you have something called design generator here also in Plackett Berman. Okay, let us look at those design generator. This is the design generator, I will look at it. So, for 8 experiments, design generator is plus, 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 minus, plus, minus, minus. So, it gives you only 7, please note. So, what do you do? For variable A, we put plus, 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 minus, plus, minus, minus and the 8th row is all minus. You understand? The last row will always be minus. So, what do you do for variable A? We put plus, 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 minus, plus, minus, minus. Now, how do we get these columns? What you do is you take this and put it on top and then push everything down. So, take this, put it on top and then plus will become plus here, plus will become plus, plus will become plus, minus will become minus, plus will become plus, minus will become minus. And then for C, take this and put it on top and push everything one down. So, this will become here, this will go 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 here. Of course, do not forget that the 8th row will always be all minus. Okay. How do you get D? Take this and put it there and then push everything down 1, minus, 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 plus, 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 minus. E, push it. This plus will come down this, 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 like that you build it up. Okay. So, you have a ge design generator for 8 parameters, it gives you 7 um, numbers here, the last row will be all minuses. So, you put them here in this column and then uh, take the last one, seventh one, this is not, not the last one, this is uh, ignored generally, always. So, you take this and then put it there and then push everything down 1 take this, put it there, push everything down 1. So, this will come like this. Take this, put it there, push everything down 1. Take this, put it there, push everything down 1. Okay. As you can see here, so you get this. And the eighth row will be all minuses. Um, again, you can, you have to cross check. See, it is also a, a symmetry, okay, balanced. 4 pluses, 4 minuses, 4 pluses, 4 minuses, 4 pluses, 4 minuses. Very nice. So, I can um, screen 7 variables with 8 runs, it is very, very uh, good. 
minimum number of variables. Okay, what happened if I had six variables? Okay, um, what do I do? I can use the same design. I'll call one of them as dummy variable. Okay, so I'll use the same. So you can have one dummy variable. Sometimes if you want five parameters and I want to do eight experiments, five parameters and eight experiment. For example, factorial design it will be two power five. That's 32 experiments. Half factorial will be 16 experiments. But I want to do only eight experiments. So I take this. Uh, table and I will two, put two variables here dummy. So, I can do this. So, you see plaquette berman is extremely powerful uh, in that sense, but you can study only main effects and uh, you cannot study any interaction effects and um, ideally um, because it is in multiples of 4, um, ideally if your parameters are closer to 4 uh, then it is very good. If not we can always put dummy variables like that. Okay. Now imagine I have, um, I want to do 12 experiments, that means 11 variables, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 variables. So I take this design generator plus, plus, minus, plus, 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 minus, 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 plus, minus. This last row please remember will be all minus. Okay, so how do I get B? I take this, put it here and push all of them 1. So, this plus will come here, this plus will come here, this minus will come here, plus, 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 minus, 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 plus, okay. Do not uh, put anything on this 12th row and so on. So, if I have uh, 11 variable, all I have to do is a yeah, 12 experiment. Whereas, if I want to do a uh, um, factorial design, 11 variables 2 power 11, which is a huge number, okay. Even if I, I can, of course, look at uh, 1 fourth or one eighth uh, fractional factorial designs also, but uh, this gives you the minimum number of experimental runs, the plaquette berman design uh, because for 11 variables I can just do 12 experiments, quickly screen and eliminate many of them which I think is of no use at all. Okay? Then I can go for a detailed design later on, that is the beauty of a plaquette berman design. And um, uh, these tables I took it from this particular reference, this is a good reference to look at. Uh, it is quite simple um, and I have been looking at it actually. Okay, so, you have different design generators for uh, uh, the n is equal to 8 experiments or 12 experiments or 16 experiments, 20 experiments, 24 experiments. Uh, remember that last row will, uh, will be minus always. So, uh, you take the last sign and put it in the next top of the next variable and push uh, everything down and just insert it, that is it, that is how you make the that is the design generator for the plaquette berman design. And this design is extremely useful if uh, you are looking at uh, um, screening designs and if it is multiples of uh, 4, nothing like it, use a plaquette berman design, do not go for uh, factorial or fractional factorial design because uh, uh, even if you use a fractional factorial design you have some confounding. So, quickly do a plaquette berman, look at the main effects, remove some of the main effects take only a limited number and then you do a detailed study. Okay. That is this is to do with plaquette berman design. There is something called fold over causal design 10 runs. You have 4 variables, okay. uh, 4 variables plaquette berman design if I have to do I can do a 4 experiments also. Uh, okay. I can even uh, do half of 2 power 4 factorial design that is uh, um, 2 power 4 minus 1 that is 8 experiments also we can do. Okay. Um, this is called a causal design. Okay. These are uh, generated by uh, different uh, statisticians um, who, do, who look at the importance of certain um, parameters and then they come up with design. So, always remember in any design you will always have a balanced. See look at this 5 pluses. 5 minuses, 5 pluses, 5 minuses, that is very important. Um, any design you do, you are doing it by writing down by hand, always cross check whether balanced is maintained, orthogonality is maintained, that is very important. It is called a causal design, let us not go too much into this type of design. Plaquette Berman is very commonly used in softwares, um, the factorials are used, then of course uh, the Taguchi designs are also used. Okay. Uh, see, you have fold over designs for uh, um, if you are doing 8 experiments, 
previous one is 10 experiments, 4 factors, here you have uh, 8 experiments, 4 factors, okay. So, this is called a fold over design, okay, this is called a fold over. Why it is called a fold over? You can see, I can fold it, it will be exactly like a mirror image, you know, this minus, this minus, this minus, this minus, plus, this plus, this plus, okay. So, that is why it is called a fold over design. So, A, B, C you have and then uh, D variable alone uh, is a new variable you are adding actually. So, if you look at only the A, B, C portion, it is exactly foldable, you know this line if you fold it, uh, it is like a uh, the mirror image, right. That is why it is called a fold over design. Then you are adding a new parameter called D, okay. So, if you have a A, B, C, D um, fold over design, then we can add a new parameter E in this fashion, okay. These are called fold over designs. Again, of course, do not forget the balance, balance is maintained, right. That is very, very important. Then we have the Latin square design. I talked about Latin squares before also, okay. Suppose uh, I have a Latin square design and uh, we are looking at say 3 levels, minus 1, 0, 1. Just like 2 levels we call minus 1 and plus 1. If it is 3 levels, generally the methodology they suggest is use 0 as the middle level. So, this is like uh, I am doing 9 experiments, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and um, this is factor B, this is factor C and this is factor A, okay. 9 experiments you are doing, okay, 3 into 3, in, uh, okay, 3 into 3, 9 experiments, look at it, um, nice symmetry. So, the first experiments will be all the 3 at the lower level, second experiment will be uh, C will be at lower level, uh, A and B at the middle level, the last uh, and third experiment will be C will be at the um, uh, lowest level and uh, A and B will be at the highest level like that, you know. So, you do 9 experiments and the results also we can write down here and uh, we can do some uh, ANOVAs, we did some problems on uh, Latin square designs, ANOVAs with 3 factors also if you remember long time back. So, this is called a Latin square design. Okay. So, we have 3 parameters, 3 levels, we are doing only 9 experiments, you can see. Uh, otherwise, if you are doing a factorial design 3 raised to the power 3, that is 27 experiments. If I want to do a 1 third of uh, that uh, 3 raised to the power 3, okay, that will be 9. Okay. So, it will be 3 raised to the power 3 minus 1 type of experiment, okay. So, this is called a Latin square because we have a square here and then we put in uh, the factors, uh, the levels of each of the factor and in the middle also uh, we can put in uh, some factors. If you remember we did a problem carbon, nitrogen and organism for the production of biopolymer 7 by 7 Latin squares, okay. So, again uh, Latin square for ABC. 9 experiments here, right. So, like I said minus, minus, minus that is first experiment, the second experiment will be uh, 0, 0, minus 1, third experiment will be uh, plus, plus, minus 1 like that. This is how you do the experiment, 3 levels. Um, important to notice um, each of the factors um, there is a balance, 3 times you are doing at uh, minus 1 level, 3 times you are doing at uh, um, 0 level, 3 times you are doing at uh, plus level, okay, okay. So, it is very well balanced as you can see here, okay. Again B also we have uh, 3 times uh, at um, negative, 3 times at 0, 3 times at plus, plus, okay. So, this is called uh, the Latin square and this is we are writing down in the matrix form to do that. So, you do this experiment and you get the results. Uh, so, if I want to know the uh, effect of A uh, here and like plus and minus we also have 0. So, that means we have effect of A at 3 places plus 0 minus. So, we can generate uh, second order type of uh, mathematical relation whereas, if it is 2 levels we will be able to generate only linear type of uh, mathematical relationship, okay. So, we will continue in the next class. Thank you very much.